I've written in the rest of the data, set data and resource methods, so I'm going to copy paste them just as before and then skim through them quite fast. So, starting with the transform nodes data method, it looks like this. If column is 2, get x into r. If column is 3, get y into r. If column is 4, get z into r and then return r. The reason we get it to R is we also call the superclass data method, which is the node class, which actually returns either name or type info. So we still want to be able to use this method instead of rewriting this code here. And the set data method looks like this. Similar, we just get we just call the superclass at data method, and then if column is two, set x three to y and four to z. Also call the to pi object. And finally, the resource method. It returns column backslash transform dot png, which is something we should never forget to add when working with resources compiled into binary and the camera method or the camera nodes methods look looks like this png so motion blur and shake intensity same goes for the data method and finally we have the light node which has four attributes and it looks like this data so if it's 2, light intensity, 3, near range, 4, far range, 5, cast shadows. Same goes to the set data method and PNG. And I actually, I will change the name of this. And also I will remove all those getters and setters. We will write them in a different way. I'll explain why soon. So also all those. That's also the reason I didn't write set name and name with a function call here. So remove the set name and name method. Now let's discuss why I removed those. Okay, we will actually redeclare our getters and setters in a much better way with less code and less clutter. <coughs> This is how it looks like for the name method. So what happens here? The magic happens in the prop in the property keyword. It takes two keyword parameters. Those are fget and fset. We define them inside our name method. fget and fset. Then we do a call to return locals. This returns the local space of this method. And then we take that and pass it as keyword parameters to the property keyword. Remember this took two parameters, or actually takes more parameters than two, but we pass the fget and fset by returning the locals and then passing it as keyword parameters. So when we write self name now and assign five it will actually call fset. If we would do x equals self name, it would call fget. This is useful when you want the return value to be computed, such as name plus something, and you still want to work on them as properties and not function calls. So you don't need to write set name anymore with the name. You can just say name whoops and it would call fset so if you would do something like plus this it would actually work and you will also see why I redeclare our properties d in this way it has to do with XML serializing we actually need a way of extracting the properties without doing s a function that looks like this get adders and then we return maybe a list of all the attributes such as name and type info 
instead of going with this way we can actually write a single function that returns all the properties that is also inherited from the superclasses so that's why I redeclare our properties like so let's quickly fix the rest starting with the transform node Uh, those look like this we have X Y and Z F get and F set which are returned and passed as keyword arguments so F get and F set goes into here then we have the camera class which has motion blur and shake intensity and finally we have the light class which has intensity, near range, far range, and cast shadows. Fix a tiny error before running this. Notice that in the camera node, the superclass call to data and set data is actually wrong. It shouldn't be transform node, but camera node. Once that's changed, run. Everything should be same. Not the functionality shouldn't have changed. Everything should work ac as expected. So I can rename this transform node here, and I can rename it down here. I can still change the x, y, z coordinates, switch and switch back, and it would still remember them. So everything is working as expected. Now I'm going to show you the method that I talked a minute ago that can return all the properties we defined in the special way which we will use when serializing our nodes into XML so I'm gonna demonstrate it step by step create a light node here call it whatever you want to light print light and access the class special keyword print that one you see that it prints a class object with the name light node. It also has a special keyword called MRO. If you print that, you will notice that it prints itself, its superclass, and then the other superclass. So basically it will print all the classes that this object derives from, including, it, including itself. So what can we do with this? we can get all the classes and then for class in classes what can we do we can print something called dict it's a dictionary containing all the class all the class object members so if we run this it will print everything this class object is actually using such as the get attribute uh, method and the class dictionary the delete attribute method etc but we don't want everything we only want the property so let's loop in this dictionary for key value in class dictionary we want to loop inside the iterator items and then if is instance is instance is a function that is defined within Py python we want to check if the value is an instance of property and this property is the keyword we used to define our properties here so if the class member or class object is a property we want to print the keyword which should be our property name also so let's run this again and as you can see it prints the name which is actually a property of the node class and then it prints intensity cast shadow far range and near range which is a property of light node so we have successfully printed all the properties this single light node uses and the function looks like this for the class itself go up to the node class and then below the constructor write this
again we get the classes from the MRO di special keyword dictionary or it might be a list I don't know what it remembers I think it was a list and then we loop inside the classes and we loop inside the iterator items if it's a property we actually do something else here we print which we don't need to and we actually have a dictionary that we store the name or we use the name as the key for the dictionary and then we call the fget method and if you remember the fget was used here to get the value of the property so we get the value is the property since we check it here if value is property if it's an instance of property we call the fget method and we pass our self into it so self goes into the first parameter of the fset method and then we get the name so basically if we call adders with printing on let's create a light node again haha and call adders we can see that the property near range has a value of 40 the property far range has a value of 80 the property cast shadows is true intensity is 1 and name is haha so basically we returned the we we returned a dictionary here containing the name as the key and the value as the value so we can use this now when serializing our entire node hierarchy into XML.